Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. I'm gonna do your weekend reading, see what messages come out for you. If you wanna get a personal reading with me, there's a link in the description box below this video. There's also a link under my profile picture here on YouTube, September. Heavily discounted personal readings with me, 30 minute phone call, go check it out. And uh, yeah, let's get into this. Please smash that like and subscribe button if you um, enjoy the video especially if you're new, please do subscribe. And yeah, if you guys hit the like button, um, that would be awesome because it just kind of kickstarts the algorithm, gets everything going. All right, let's take a look. So you're starting with Girl with a Snake on Friday. Empath and Narcissist Paradigm. Being charmed or used, ugh, <laughs> enabling boundaries. Hmm, okay. Let me see what is going on. Little, a little, um, some of you are doing a little square dancing with um, someone over this weekend or doing a little uh, tango with someone over this weekend. Okay. Hmm. Can you see that? I hope you can see that. Let me make sure that that's, yeah, that's in the picture. Okay. Hmm. So um, there's someone like super, super, I want to say, dependent on you okay so hmm, you got five of pentacles you have the six of cups somebody's coming in on friday virgo girl or a guy with a snake or someone who's like very charming or you're charming someone <laughs> virgo but i feel like there's someone here who is a little bit lost like they need you like i'm feeling this heavy need vibe so um this could be a taurus for some of you and also it could be a scorpio showing up so far okay so you're gonna hear from somebody here they're gonna be reaching out trying to have a reunion with you on friday or trying to reconcile with you i mean friday could be all the way up to like right before midnight um but this person there's someone from your past coming back Oh, wow. Yeah, this person is in, um, they're a hot mess. This person is like, so, I feel like they're very insecure, super codependent. Um, they feel left out in the cold. They, like, they're very dependent on you, you know? And they're like having a mental, they're almost at a total mental breakdown. It's got the lovers and strength. Gemini also and Leo. So, this person is going to get the courage to reach out to you, okay? Um there's there's a little charming little charm somebody's getting charmed could be you are you like you could be receiving some kind of charming energy or you are um being being you're either being charmed or you're charming somebody else okay so i definitely feel like somebody wants to get down and dirty with you over the weekend they want to connect with you like this person is in love with you they are so super like you're you're the it girl the it guy for them you're gonna hear something over this weekend it may not be exactly on friday but you are definitely gonna hear from this person they are you know it doesn't have to be those signs it could be any sign but it, it feels because we don't really have a court card here so i'm just kind of throwing out it could be um it could be a yeah gemini but yeah let me get some clarifying cards here for you virgo what the what in the heck oh Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Someone's coming to see you over the weekend, Virgo. Um, they're like going to take a huge. Uh, it's not like a risk, but they're going to do it. They're going to make some kind of move towards you over this weekend. They can't be without you. This person feels like you are it for them. They're like, I don't know who this is, but it feels like you have like some kind of little dance with this person. Someone's there's like a paradigm between you two. It's like you you're like magnets to each other. You just get drawn back to each other time and time again. And I feel like this person is coming around over this weekend. Like they are they're bringing their snake <laughs> snake charmer. They're bringing their snake Virgo. Yes, we should save that for the OnlyFans reading. This person is like looking at your photos, checking you out missing you being nostalgic about the past or something like seriously there's something about you with this person um 
want to try to like create some new memories with you. What, Virgo? So you have some, you, all right, I'm just going to say it. Yeah, look at this major reconciliation vibes. Um, you have some kind of past or you've made some memories with this person somewhere in your past. I mean, it could have been like an hour ago for some of you. But I mean, this person is 100% coming in with this Ace of Pentacles. They're like coming in with this huge investment, two aces. I mean, this person has like the hots for you. I mean, they might even be looking at your pictures and just being like, rubbing one out <laughs> sorry ad sponsors but it is what it is um <laughs> hot hot to trot vibes like they're having a lot of growth a lot of climax energy playing out here oh my gosh i'm probably just gonna have to like blur like bleep this out okay <laughs> this person is not interested in anybody else i am telling you virgo like all the love off and this person must get a lot a lot of love offers or they have been um either from one person someone keeps trying to give them their love and they're like uh, blocking them they're like nope nope they have the hots for virgo they want to be with you they're like super excited about you you just turn them on completely so either one person is trying to like love them love them to death or just you know they, they uh, so there's just like either one person or a bunch of people are just like keep falling at their feet because even with this six of wands here i feel like this person is um like everybody likes them or everybody's like kind of like they have some kind of it's not like an ego thing but i feel like with the six of wands they get attention that's what i'm gonna say but they're focused on you their intention their attention is on you all right clarify this judgment card so we've got scorpio here let's see and cancer also all right show virgo the judgment card okay oh look queen of swords so could also be a libra um it could also be an aquarius but yeah there's definitely oh, hold on there's definitely some communication absolutely this person is going to be reaching out and trying to open up some communication um they might even I, i'm just hearing they might even say like what the heck are you doing what are you doing like in like like almost kind of feel like some judgment why did you end something why are we not talking like this person is completely defeated and you know they want to talk to you absolutely like they are obsessed they're obsessed with you this is insane okay look at this cupid's arrows man the clock there's progress absolutely like i feel like this person um Okay, there's just some of you are going to get a message over this weekend. You might wake up to a message around 9 a.m. You might wake up to like a text or a phone call you receive from this person. Um, some of you are going to hear from this person at a quarter to 12 um, p.m. I feel like they're going to be like, you're gonna, your phone's going to be blowing up. <laughs> there's going to be a lot of calls from this person reaching out to you 100 percent like that's what the that's what the um the eight of wands is it's like message after message after message call after call after call could be love bombing okay all right yeah look at that there you go the nine of swords this person is like <laughs> they're stressing it, it's for some of you um you're not like for the amount of calling and text messages you're going to receive from this person i don't feel like you're going to be able to respond to every single one of them you might respond to one but they get stressed you know like because they send like eight like there's around eight messages or calls or whatever it is and then by the time it's like okay should i send this ninth one like they're really stressing out why isn't virgo answering the phone why isn't virgo responding I just saw the devil. I swear if the devil pops out. Oh my gosh. Okay. I mean, <laughs> this person definitely over this week, like they want to they want to lie down with you. <laughs> Let me just put it that way. There's a physical thing going on here. Oh, here's the king of wands. Okay. Aries, Sagittarius. 
definitely want to like whew, they need they need you to answer i'm hearing they need you to answer to help calm their nerves they're gonna be blowing blowing up your phone calling you around the clock messaging you around the clock blowing up your phone it's just like oh my gosh it would like i feel like you got to answer them virgo <laughs> Not not if it's like some kind of crazy person that you think is going to like blow your brains out, brains out. Okay. So no, you don't want to answer that call. But I feel like this person wants you to answer so that they can like feel like you uh, aren't ignoring them. I'm hearing. Ugh. Mm. You also have the Queen of Cups. My goodness, Virgo. <laughs> Pisces. Like almost all the signs are showing up here. So for the court cards, there's definitely an air sign. There's definitely a water sign. There's definitely a fire sign. This could be a whole bunch of people reaching out to you. A whole bunch of different people like are just, you know, kind of wagging their tongue at you over this weekend. What are you doing? What are you doing, Virgo? You get the girl with the snake. Are you like, I don't know. Are you like doing a Britney Spears kind of thing? Remember when she did that song? With the snake, with the python. I'm a, hey, oh, no, no, I can't deny it. I feel like that's how this person sees you. Like you're, you're the one who's kind of seductive here. At least that's how they see you. I mean, Virgo, you might just be sitting on your couch eating a bag of Doritos in your baseball cap and <laughs> your sweats. You know what I mean? But this person sees you as like, like a very seductive. What is the name of that song? Britney Spears and she did it like the VMAs remember she came out with that like Python and Virgo you're like you're doing that. <laughs> like that's how they see you just like kind of seducing them I don't know that's the theme song that is the theme song for this reading for this weekend how this person is like completely enamored by you crazy it's listen I'm not picking up strong emotions here this is all passion this is all communication um it's like i need you they're like <laughs> what the heck's going on what are you doing virgo oh and then right when i said that it's ace of cups yeah this person wants to love you again they want to get loving you all over again offer that cup so now you got three aces in this reading virgo ace of pentacles ace of wands ace of cups like there is there's a new start happening here over this weekend with Whoever your person is, this person that you connected with before. Gosh. Goodness gracious, Virgo, what are you doing? Well, you know what? It doesn't surprise me because you got you got a little something something going on. All Virgos do. Some kind of mystery. Why is finances and career? Virgo's like, not right now. Like I gotta go to work. <laughs> Virgo, you're, I don't know, are you playing hard to get or you just might like, you know, like just respond and be like, I'm at work. I'm working. <laughs> I feel like that's what's going on. <laughs> oh, the situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay. Let your friends help you. Okay. Tell your friends about this. There's a reconciliation card. I'm telling you, there's a reconciliation happening over this weekend here with someone. And you know what, Virgo, if this is not someone you really want to reconcile with, I hope it gives you an ego boost, if anything, because someone here is just, I, I, I see like, you know, those emoji, the emoji with the heart eyes and the one with like the tongue that's drooling. Like I see that person being that way with you or feeling that way towards you. You're just all up in you. <clears throat> oh, look, an avocado. This person's going to be vulnerable and apologize to you. Oh, yeah. Put away the computer. This person's like, oh yeah, I'm sorry. Something to do with a computer. Passion. Longing. This person is secretly yearning for you. Okay, there was rejection because of a trust issue. And now they're giving so much to this relationship. They're going to be giving so much. This is like giving 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 to, to get you get you get you second chance there you go this person wants another chance with you virgo first second third fourth fifth i don't even know what y'all y'all are up to but yeah they want another chance oh my gosh <gasps> twin flame no shit <sighs> i was like i am done with this person <laughs> well they're not done with you honey bunny they're not done with you 
What do you want me to say? What do you want me to tell you? What do you want me to say? Let's see what their Chinese sign is. How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? Let's see. Who is this person showing up here? You're the pig. You're the dragon. Double dragons. You're the rabbit. You're the monkey. You're the horse. You're the dog. Monkey again. You're the snake. Uh oh. Double snake. You're the dog again. You're the rat. What? This is a little. Give me some of that yum yum chocolate chip honey dip. Okay. Okay, here we go. As you know, it's a weekend raining, so it's going to be a little short. It's just fun, flirty, and a little bit of passion going on here, Virgo. Have a good weekend, right? <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, look. Look, it just fell. The big old fat silver heart here. Okay, somebody's got a big old, either they got a big heart on for you, or they have a big heart on for you, Virgo, for sure. <laughs> You're turning somebody on, doing something. Okay, look at that. Fell right on the Leo. Oh, 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 <laughs> you can't make this up, the ex. <laughs> you can't make this up. This is your ex. <laughs> Somebody's name might be Eve. Ooh, vex. What does vex mean? I'm vexed. What does the vexed mean? Vexed. Is that like, um, I'm typing it in. I've, he I've heard of that before, but they're just telling me, vexed oh it means oh that's not what i wanted is affected with marked by or causing trouble or vexation <laughs> i mean no ill towards you oh my gosh um yeah, I feel like this person is like completely vexed. They have good intentions. <laughs> Wait, I'm just looking up one more thing. Um, oh, they're annoyed. They're frustrated. They see you as like you're giving them a problem because you're, 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 it's not you. I don't feel like you're doing anything in perp on purpose. I feel like this is like they're having a problem. <laughs> Because he, they can't have like, I don't know if they can't have you or they, they just want you so much and, and they're like completely disturbed. How long will ye vex my soul and break me in pieces with words? <laughs> what the hell's going on? What is going on? Okay. Somebody's birthday is August 25th. We have um, 1972, 1973. Let's see, what else can we find here? Any other signs? Because Virgo had enough signs, seriously. What is that? Oh, Sagittarius vibes. We have Scorpio here and Taurus. Okay, we'll get a couple of more. It's an X, that's all I'm saying. And if, it's, if, if you're like, I don't have an X, well then, you know, hey, it's not for you. So someone's born 1980. We have the number 60. Um, okay. So we have September 5th, September 11th. Um, we also have uh, November 5th and May 11th, they're telling me. So that would be like a Taurus, a Scorpio, birth dates. Okay. Ooh. We have a Q and a U. Q, U. Someone is 32. Someone is 46. A Q and a U. Let me see. Okay. We have the letter M. Oh, they're telling me pirate. Something to do with the pirate. Maybe someone's going to be a pirate. Um, we have the letter P. The letter E, um, I'm just hearing pew, like pew, 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 pew. And I'm hearing Mets, someone likes the Mets. Is that a baseball team, the Mets? Yeah, I guess someone likes the Mets. 
Okay. Another initial. Okay. Okay, letter K. All right, so I'm going to leave. Oh, wait, let's get a charm. One more charm. One more charm for Virgo. What is this? Oh, uh, there's a circus elephant. Yeah, this whole reading's a damn circus. There's a circus elephant or, an, or um, I feel like this is good luck or something. It's sacred. Can you see it? Hold on. Can you see it? It's like some kind of sacred elephant here. Something that there, there's like a conversation that is not had that is going to be had. Like that elephant in the room vibe. Um, and you also have like a red heart. I feel like something's coming full circle here. Oh my gosh. Listen, Virgo. Yeah, like somebody here is just completely, maybe you put a hex on them. I don't know. <laughs> I hope not because that's craziness. But I feel like, I don't know, maybe you did it not even knowing you did. But this person is like coming after you. They're coming for you this weekend, <laughs> Virgo. Their heart is afflicted. They want you. Okay, I'm leaving that there. That was fun. Good luck. Hope you have a safe weekend, Virgo. Hope nothing's too crazy. So, yeah. If you want to get a personal reading, yep, go on over and just book it with me. And um, for those of you, I have to just make this quick statement. For those of you, and I'm also going to give some birthday shout outs, so hold on. For those of you who um, booked a reading with me on the 7th, I accidentally called all my clients who were booked on the 8th. I called them all on the 7th. So those of you that had readings today on the 7th, well, if you're listening to this tomorrow, then yesterday. Those of you who had readings on the 7th, my apologies. I rebooked you for the 8th. If you can't do it, make sure you message me. All right. Let's take a look. Do we have any birthdays today? We have September 7th. I'm going to look at September 7th, the 8th, the 9th. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Um, Lala. Happy birthday to Lala. And let's see. I haven't got anybody else. I haven't received anybody. Another message for anyone whose birthday is today. So if you have a birthday today. September 7th, happy, happy, happiest of birthdays to you. If you have one on the 8th, happy birthday to you for Friday. And if you have one on the 9th, happy birthday to you on Saturday. And if you have one on the 10th, happy birthday to you on the 10th. And, you know, I'll be uploading a video on Sunday, so I'll be able to wish you a happy birthday then. All right, you guys. So, yeah, don't forget, subscribe to my OnlyFans so you can get Monday's reading that will be coming up for next week. Um, those are the uh, readings that I use, the very spicy, explicit cards that I can't use on YouTube. So if you have an interest in the, the uh, everything behind the veil, <laughs> those types of readings, definitely go over. They're a whole lot of fun, and I think you'll like them. All right, you guys, have a great weekend. Love you very much. Have a great, great birthday, and I will see you all back here on Sunday. Take care. Bye. Bye.